Have you ever started on a blender project and as you progress, things slowly start to go wrong? Do the little mistakes you make along the way start to limit you? Today you'll learn what you've been doing wrong and how to fix it. Let's get into it. First, one of the most important things to keep in mind when modeling is not creating what are called double vertices. Double vertices are two or more vertices directly on top of each other, which can create two edges on top of each other, which makes bad geometry and restricts you later on. To fix this, you can do two things. Either click this button to turn on auto merge, which automatically merges double vertices, or select two vertices, hit M, and choose one of the options. Don't click the auto merge button if your vertices aren't in the exact same spot because Blender won't know. Next, modifiers are your friend when it comes to modeling. They're non-destructive, meaning you don't actually have to change your object until you apply them. For example, the boolean modifier can be used to cut into objects without actually changing anything until you apply it. So if you're making a window, you can have one clean face as the wall and a cube as the cutter. This makes customization much easier than manually cutting the face with the knife tool and making sure you still have clean geometry. This is especially helpful for hard surface modeling. Another modifier, the bevel, is great for achieving realistic renders because 99% of real life surfaces don't have completely sharp edges. Third, a little known thing about faces is that they have normals. To visualize them, imagine tiny lines pointing out of one side of a face. Whichever side they point out of, that's the direction the face is facing. Blender is great at automatically assigning normals to faces you create, but sometimes it can be faulty. So whenever I'm modeling, I check the normals on my object to make sure everything's good. To do this, click this button and find face orientation and click it. If your normals are good, your object should turn all blue. If there are red spots, that means those faces are facing the wrong way. Instead of manually selecting them and flipping their normals, just go under Mesh, find Normals, and click Recalculate Outside, and Blender will automatically fix your normals. The fourth mistake is a little one, but it can cost you time rendering. Whenever you turn on Cycles as your render engine, change CPU to GPU Compute. This way, if you have a dedicated graphics card, which is meant purely for graphics, Blender will use that instead of your CPU, which is not usually meant for graphics. Another thing you need to do is go to Edit, Preferences, and Find System. Here, go under Optics and check your graphics card if you have one. And finally, when I discovered what PBR materials were, I used them as much as I could. But every time I made one, I would manually add the images and connect them to their inputs. But luckily, you don't have to do this. Enable the Node Wrangler add-on and all you have to do to add a PBR material is go down here under Node Wrangler and hit Add Principled Setup. Find your files, open them, and like magic it's done, even with a mapping node for scaling and adjusting. And speaking of scaling and adjusting, I'm trying to scale the channel to a thousand subscribers, which we're really close to. So please consider hitting that subscribe button and leaving a like on this video. See you next time.